try as we may, as farmers, we don't have the capability or ability to increase yield performance. All we get to do is support, stimulate, and protect the crop's innate raw ability of the genetics, by the environment, by the management interaction. You're on the ground today with Rob Seco. I'm Todd Clausen. We are on Rob Seco's future farm research site west of Elkhorn, Nebraska in the Elkhorn River Valley. And we are staged and ready to make our fungicide applications, our VT fungicide applications. Okay, so when we think about fungicide, there are intentions for, for, for fungicide use. Number one, fungicides are intended to control fungal diseases, gray leaf spot northern corn leaf blight, common rust, tar spot. Also, though fungicides have the ability to create a healthier plant, plant health stimulation, and it does so, if you follow this thread, we've talked a little bit about it, it does so by lowering the respiration rate. Respiration is the dark reaction of photosynthesis. So if we can slow the respiration rate down, we utilize the sugar that the plant has accumulated all day to a greater efficient fashion. So there's more of the sugar, the carbohydrate, to complete all of the plant's tasks. More efficient, greater plant health. It also has the ability, these fungicide compounds also have the ability to make nitrogen a bit more efficient by helping nitrate be reduced to nitrogen atoms, and O2. Because nowhere in the plant does, does, does corn utilize the molecule known as nitrate. It, it needs to be reduced to nitrogen and oxygen. So those are the three main criteria, the three main intentions and objectives for fungicide applications on the farm. And nowhere else in the month of July can you get from 5 to 40 bushel protection on your corn crop. So then as we think about uh, the, the two main criteria for the best success on your farm, number one, it's about timing. If you're going to make a single application of fungicide, it's all about timing. Okay, and, and, and the timing, if you're coming out of the air, timing is VT, the last vegetative stage of that corn plant's life. We are sitting right at VT, almost R1 today. And as I look up, we have fully formed and fully developed tassels. With the flag leaf, with the flag leaf, just here, with the flag leaf just barely bent away, VT. Okay. Following that tassel will be silk formation. And as you look at some of these plants, we have silk emergence. Okay. So this is almost and basically R1. So we are VT to R1. We're in perfect time situation right here. Okay? Labels, aerial labels on fungicides are VT to brown silk. VT to brown silk is 15 to 20 days. Okay? The farther away you get from this, farther away you get from this perfect application timing, the less separation and the less advantage and the less return on your investment for fungicide applications becomes. So timing is imperative, and this is perfect timing. If you don't have crop that's reaching the stage, so how can you time it out? So if you're three or four or five leaves from tassel, you simply do. You simply just come out, pull that whorl. This happens to be just pre-VT, so it is one, one and a half leaves basically from VT. At this point in time, this crop will put on a node or a leaf about every two days. Of course, that does depend on your climate, depends on your environment, depends on your moisture, depends on your GDU accumulation, but somewhere between two and two and a quarter days to put on that, that, that node. And so that particular plant that I pulled, if your entire farm was in that stage, you'd basically be about two and a half to three days away from VT, which is going to be your perfect timing for that fungicide application. Again, we can't increase, we can't enhance yield performance. We only get the opportunity to support, to stimulate, and protect. If you need help on your farm, timing your fungicide applications, give me a call. You're on the ground today with Rob Seco.
I'm Todd Clausen.